What up, boxing fans? Gilberto Torres Jr. with Torres Boxing. And I hope you're having a great day, guys. I want to talk about this uh, potential rumored fight that some people in the, in the boxing community are talking about. Even insiders, even those that have been in there for, for, for quite some time, um, are talking about a potential comeback from Andre Ward to face off against the uh, new light heavyweight WBO champion Canelo Alvarez and this is a fight that's beginning to get a little bit of traction and has been gaining traction since um, the Canelo Kovalev fight was announced uh, because this is the weight division uh, that uh, I'm sorry Andre Ward retired in this is the weight division that he himself beat Kovalev in and so there's this uh, similar opponent now that these two guys have um, we clearly saw what happened between Kovalev and Canelo so now we we've seen uh, Canelo beat Kovalev we've uh, we've seen Andre Ward beat Kovalev and that's the that's the, the opponent that they share in common and so of course now with Canelo's victory at 175 pounds uh, the talks of, of a potential Canelo Ward fight have now amplified and I'm wondering is this a fight we're gonna see is this a fight that's possible and I just want to kind of touch on, on a couple things here guys um, looking into the fight so Andre Ward uh, prior to his retirement was considered the the number one pound for pound fighter in the world he retired undefeated a couple years back back in June of 2017 uh, he had just come off uh, two fights with Kovalev, so he beat Kovalev twice. Of course, there's some, some controversy there, guys, that I don't want to really delve into right now. But he beat Kovalev, right? And so Andre Ward retired undefeated. He's 32-0, um, 16 knockouts. He rose from middleweight up to super middleweight and then to the light heavyweight ranks to defeat um a fighter that at this point was considered the most feared boxer in the division uh that was kovalev back then that was the crusher that was the crusher that that had that aura around him that uh, because he had actually you know killed someone in the ring so this is the kovalev that andre ward defeated uh so it's not the same kovalev that canelo defeated um so Andre Ward, he's still young. He's um, he's um, I want to say he's 35 years of age, if I'm not mistaken. He's got a lot less wear and tear on his body. He has only had 32 professional bouts, um, 238 rounds, uh, and I'm gonna look up Canelo's exact numbers here. Canelo has a record of 53 victories, one uh, defeat, two draws. Uh, so he's had 56 bouts and all he's got uh, 402 402 rounds compared to 238 for Ward uh, under his belt so of course even though Canelo is the younger fighter Andre Ward seems to have a lot more going for him because um, granted he's a little bit older but he does have less uh, wear and tear on his body he's had less rounds uh, he you know so so you could uh, say he's a young 35 the only issue of course coming into this bout would be Andre Ward's pre preparation let's say let's just speculate and say that this fight does happen does Andre Ward jump right into it or does he take a tune-up fight or two you know it's uh, sometimes it's difficult to to, uh, to um to see how these things play out because of course you know andre ward he's coming off a retirement you know he retired a couple years back and he's been demonstrated but he's been demonstrating that he's serious about the retirement you know he hasn't returned or anything like that but now you have the lure the lure uh, uh of a potential big money fight with canelo alvarez you know so what's what's he gonna do is he kind of come come back and if he does come back is he going to take a tune-up fight or two before he faces Canelo? Or will he pull off a Sugar Ray Leonard and fight Hagler without any tune-up fights under his belt? You know, so these are things that we're not so sure about. But it's a fight that I, you know, I think it's interesting. I think uh, that maybe Andre Ward is a little bit more, um, even though he is a taller, has a slight reach advantage over Canelo. But, 
you know, he himself also um, had some time in the lower divisions and, you know, finished off his career at light heavyweight. Um, exceptional boxer, Olympic gold medalist, uh, retired at the top of the game, you know, um, undefeated, um, considered arguably the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Uh, so imagine him coming back to face Canelo. He's got the, um, the, the, that, that potential big money fight that is uh, av available to him. You know, he could take this fight. And if he takes that fight, you know, I think it's going to be a big money fight. I think it's going to be a great fight. It's going to put uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, who, regardless of the criticisms uh, that have been directed his way and towards Ko Kovalev, um, looking at him at 175 pounds, he looked uh, good, you know, a little bit slower, of course, and that's going to happen because of the added uh, weight. But he looked good, you know, his body didn't look fat or flabby or anything like that. He looked pretty uh, lean and cut. Um, inside of that ring, he still looked explosive. Uh, he had trouble, obviously, getting inside the pocket with Kovalev. Kovalev has that long, long reach, and so it made it really hard for Canelo to get inside. But those moments that Canelo did have in the fight, he looked explosive. He still had solid speed and power in the division. Uh, the power, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know because it looked like Kovalev wasn't being really affected by the power until obviously that last uh that those last couple hits that took him down but prior to that he looked comfortable enough to um stick to his game plan and fight so i'm not so sure if canelo has um that tremendous power at 175 pounds regardless of what we saw this past saturday against kovalev but andre ward as well he's uh you know not not so much of a of a big knockout artist himself he's only got 50 percent of his uh wins by knockout so these are two fighters that could potentially, uh, instead of a, of, a, of a knockout, provide us with 12 exciting rounds of on your on the edge of your seat action. So I think it's an interesting fight, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Will Kovalev come back for that fight? Remains to be seen. Of course, this is all speculation. But I do see Kovalev that even though he's 30, I'm sorry, uh, Andre Ward, even though he's 35 years of age, he's a young 35. He still uh, could very well get into his uh, prime fighting mode and and give canelo a big fight and you know vice versa so I, I like this fight guys i don't know about you maybe if it does happen it doesn't happen at 175 pounds maybe it's at 168 i don't know but i think it means more if it happens to light heavyweight because for canelo obviously that's a, another big challenge to overcome um being able to beat a, a returning um champion undefeated fighter that was at uh, at the top of the rankings before his retirement ward has a chance at, a, at not only a big big paycheck like he's never had before in the past but he's got a big name there that he could add to his resume a big name that's even bigger than kovalev was at his time that he could add to his resume and say hey i came back and i defeated who some consider the best fighter alive today so guys let me know in the comment section what do you guys think do you think andre ward is going to make a comeback do you want to see a canelo versus andre ward fight let me know guys what your thoughts are uh again remember to go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this um go ahead and, and, and visit the website at taurusboxing.com and guys, I'm out. I have nothing else. So God bless you and have a great rest of your day.